This video contains a step-by-step -step explanation on how to obtain the input parameters of the fiber reinforced concrete FRC material model. This video is taken entirely uh, from Athena Science GID FRC tutorial. So for more information, you can read the tutorial. The prepared model contains beam loaded by two scribed displacement at the top plates and supported by two bottom plates. The FRC material parameters based on cementitious tube user. To define uh, the parameters for FRC, we can make copy for from this material. Young's modulus and compressive strength are available for the case presented in this tutorial. The tensile th strength can be determined by formula where F max is the load corresponding to the tensile strength first peak in the LD diagram. L is the span of the beam and B is the width of the beam cross section and H is the high uh, of the beam cross section. Tension characteristic size is the same size of the finite element mesh. So here in this model is 0.015 meter. We can check it by activate mesh and distance for one finite element. We can see the message like zero and that stance is 0.015 meter. Now the most important part, how to define tension function. Tension function is specified in the model as a relation between fracture strain on the horizontal axis and tensile stress divided by tensile strength on the vertical axis. The fracture strain can be calculated by the following uh, formula where WC is uh, crack width or crack opening and LT is characteristic length. To define the parameters for this relation, we will use inverse analysis of the load displacement diagram. If we go to cementitious to user to see the uh, default values for tension function, we can see here like the, the number for fracture strain is two zeros after comma and we have uh, 0 0.07 so one zero after comma so we can uh, multiply the values uh, 10 times only as initial values for running the reverse analysis. Now we will define compressive part for FRC. If we go back to uh, the default values, cementitious to user, and uh, we can see here the values, and based on uh, the developer's experience, uh, we can multiply 100 times this the first value for compression and uh, also for FC reduction uh, we can make it constantly now this is the initial model for the inverse analysis we can run the analysis now and uh, based on the results uh, material parameters will be modified to fitting the experimental results it's obvious from the comparison of the LD diagram between Athena model and the experiment that material model doesn't describe behavior of FRC, so we need to modify our parameters. It's useful to find fracture strains corresponding to point where the load should be changed. For example, we can go to the step uh, represent the peak of LD diagram. It's step five and uh, we can show crack width to see or to calculate again fracture strain by the same formula for fracture strain we have now crack width and we have also the characteristic length so the fracture strain in the peak it should be 0.003 instead of 0.01 now the fracture strain is 0.003 and the corresponding value on the vertical axis is 0 0.775 but at the peak of the LD diagram the load is 131 
while it should be 80 kN. So the relative stress should be decreased to 61%. So the first point in tension function should be now 0.003 fracture strain and 0.473 as relative stress. By the same way, in the tutorial, we added uh, more points for displacement 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, millimeters. And by the same way, go to the step which represent to the displacement and see the uh, crack width and calculate the fracture strain from the crack width in the Athena model. The first point from the curve or which we uh, defined by fracture strain and relative stress. The first point usually represent and affect the peak. So usually we fixed this first point and we put another point in the same level to and then move it up or down and by modifying this value the first point uh, we are uh, calibrate the peak load in Athena model with the experiment second note that we don't have to follow the same or exact same steps uh, in a tutorial when we are uh, defining the initial uh, values for uh, fracture strain for example we have here another uh, four point pending test we can see here the uh, characteristic length or the element length is 0 0.0075 we should put in a tension characteristic size 0 0.007 and by the same formula for fracture strain we got 0 0.1 so no zeros after comma so the, the first value which represent the peak it should be 0.1 and the second value it should be bigger and run the analysis we can see here the LD diagram there's no softening part or no peak so we are so far from the softening part so here with a simple analysis we can directly understand that the initial value is very large so we should directly without any calculate shift the 0.1 the first uh, uh, value smaller value so we can go to uh, material and make the smaller value and we can shift the another value is to 0.1 or keep it like this relative stress we calculated from the previous uh, as previous steps uh, and we can keep it like 0.25 to see in the beginning and uh, uh, then change by applying these values we will get this uh, ld diagram in green color and now it's better but we also we have after like peak the softening part it's still higher than uh, the uh, experiment after that we followed the same steps in tutorial uh, to get the uh, like the best fitting as we can see red color and in the bottom we can see the tension low the first column is the fracture strain values and the second column is the relative stress which we applied in uh, GID material to uh, get the this uh, LD diagram after we get a good match between LD diagram with Athena and uh, with experiment we took the uh, material properties which we made and we applied the, uh, this for punching test here comparing the LD diagram from Athena model with experiment and then we improved the tension low to fit uh, the LD diagram uh, from Athena with uh, experiment uh, as we can see and then we uh, Im improved also or we made uh, another tension law between the bending and punching and we can see here three uh, model from Athena model A bending model B after improved and model C between them I hope this video was useful thank you for attention and goodbye